<coughs> Hello and welcome again. Um, my board's going over. Uh, we're going to use skin tone, which is we've used previously with the layout uh, model color. Put a drop in there. I'm going to use some of the layout model here. And again. I'm going to put two drops in. And we're also going to use glaze medium. Um, I may have covered this before, but I'm just going to rematch it. A glaze medium, we've put two drops, we're going to put one per color, so we're going to have three, three drops. And an old brush to stir it. Um, yeah, a glaze medium. It's basically a way of putting a transparent coat over, you know, a different layer of paint that you have on the miniature. Um, obviously, if you're going to paint with a glaze in, you're going to end up with very thin coats unless you, you know, want to, even one to one is thinner than a normal paint. Not as thin, but thinner. You know, we've put white in this time. And again, and we're just aiming to hit the very top, so if we can. So, one used to let in, holding the model at an angle I'm not used to. But you can basically see, we just try to hit the very raised areas. We don't have to hit every bit of it. We just have to pick out a little bit. So we just try to pick out certain areas. Because as a smart mention, we are going to come on. wash either wash or we may come in and just brush in the higher parts but we'll see probably got like too much more my paint there but like anyway we're just picking up certain bits we're not trying to be too perfect but we're not trying to be too messy either Just a really raised highlight, right centre, it doesn't have to be perfect because when we do what we do next, it is going to blend a lot of this down. And I always say, you can go straight to a really bright iron on feet. You know, we're trying to do this in a more sensible manner. You can just go crazy here, but I'm trying to do it neat. Yeah, just keep applying it on the highest areas. And as I've mentioned several times, this area is probably it's definitely not going to even stay this car. So you know, there you go. So if you manage to pick out certain areas, it will just define the model. You don't have to hit every part. The high areas, the eye gets drawn to certain things on a miniature. Hey, if you spent there all day with the magnifying glass, you can pick the faults out of any model you want. And you'll find them. Because unless you painted it with one, <coughs> they're going to be there. But it's what the eye sees. And is it, and is it nice? Do you like it? Yeah, that's it. That's the main thing. Do you like the model? Do you like the manager? And if you do, it's all the matter. It doesn't matter about anything. Else. People get obsessed with, oh, how do I do this perfectly? 
people do no such thing as perfect. You do have to know, sort of, you know, I've been painting this and I'm quite, I'm happy with it. I'll be there if you're happy with it, that's it, you're done. It's, it's finished if, you, if you're happy. That's what you're aiming to get to, being happy with your model that you painted. That's what you're trying to achieve. People get obsessed with what's perfect and what's not. I mean, I've probably already put more layers on this model because I'm doing this. And if I'd have been doing it <coughs> normally, I would not have done this much because I could have I could have cheated to got here. Uh, I still made it look, you know. Respect all. Well, I'm just trying to cover more things on the same, you know, get into the same place, basically. I could have already got there, but, you know, it help. if it helps anybody, that's fine. It doesn't matter to me. metal. That's metal. You know, there's a lot of metal on this. About growing from the skin or in the skin. So what you add in is a contrast colour to what you've already done. Yeah. We're nearly done this part anyway. So we're out of dry. Sometimes the glaze can take longer to dry than how you've mixed it up. <laughs> to do the way of that. The first part of the glaze then. I've probably got to call it a day. Uh, I'm sure there's something I missed, maybe you might me. But as I say, this area is not even this colour, which is why I'm not really bothered when I make the arrows on it. The only reason I'm using the, the lighter colour is so that when I do apply the colour, that helps lighten or darken the area. But yeah, for now that's a good idea. That's all we wanted to do for now. Just put this glaze on, we're going to let the glaze dry. And as I say, we've probably got to come back. <sighs> now we'll give it a wash or come in and do the recess areas, you know, where all the darker bits are that we've obviously got overspray from the airbrush. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do next. Um, so we're going to wash the hands as well and the bottom. Basically we're going to apply some washers and then we'll see where we are, whether it's by brush, you know, in delicate areas, like in these, you know, deeper areas, ridges, or whether we liberally place it on. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to apply wash and then we're going to paint all the black stuff. We're going to do the metals, because he has got some armour like built into his skin or sitting on his skins. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll get back to you next time with our next stage. Thank you.